Hey guys, welcome back to Z World News here with an update on the Ukrainian Russia conflict going on. The article I'm about to read is from a, a journalist named Pepe Escobar. A little description about him. Pepe Escobar is a Brazilian journalist who writes a column, The Roving Eye, for Asian Times Online and is a commentator on Russia's RT and Iran's Press TV. He writes regularly for Russia's Sputnik News and previously wrote many opinion pieces for the Al Jazeera. So that's a little bit about him. Now, the article I'm about to read is coming from the Z World News website titled Pictures of a Ukrainian Dream, authored by Pepe Escobar via the Saker blog. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the article. What really happened during the visit of U.S. Secretary of State Tony Blinken to Ukraine? The great Andrei Martyonov has remarked that Blinken told Kiev behind the scenes to dial it down amidst the fluffy tropes about U.S. concerns for Ukraine's sovereignty and security. Well, looks like there was way more than fluffy tropes. Leaked information on the closed-door meeting between Blinken and comedian in charge Zelensky is no less than incandescent. Blinken seemed to have read a no-holds-barred riot act. Now, here are the guidelines on the, on the what the, the meeting was about. All Ukrainian state corporations must be controlled by the proverbial foreign interest. So board majorities must be either foreign or fifth columnists. The entire anti-corruption vertical drive must also be foreign controlled. Same for the ju judicial system. Andrei Koblyov, an American asset, must be reinstated as head of NAFTA gas. Zelensky moved mountains to get rid of uh, Koblyov. Blinken demanded a massive push against every Ukrainian oligarch so that huge chunks of Ukrainian economy are transferred to, who else? Foreigners. Same for land privatization. Somewhat hilariously, Blinken warned that Russian troops might invade Ukraine. In this case, Zelensky can count only on, politi on huge political assistance, not military. So Zelensky, Zelensky, in fact, was ordered to stop asking to join NATO and cease provoking Russia as President Putin, who already drew red lines, could make a drastic decision. Blinken demanded that American assets should be untouchable by Ukrainian law and named honored figures of civil society, Maidan Cookie Distribution, Victoria, F-Word, the EU. Newland, also in the room, drew up a list of the untouchables and Blinken met with them separately. Finally, the giant ghost hanging over the whole trip to Kiev had to make itself known. In practice, Zelensky was invited to turn in everyone in Ukraine who helped bring information about Hunter Biden to the media via Rudy, Rudolf Giuliani. Who had access to the league, Zelensky was left beyond speechless. That's not exactly what he was expecting, especially when it comes to transferring valuable assets controlled by Ukrainian oligarchs to foreign interests. Someone will inevitably whack him. No one is touching this leak as if it was radioactive poison. No one will confirm it. Its plausibility, though, cannot be denied. Contradicting these powerful left unnamed foreign interests is simply out of the question. They now seem to be guided by a take the money and run logic, as in taking over the looting of Ukraine lock, stock and barrel before the whole thing actually failed state blows up. Pity those oligarchs who thought they were going to loot the land through privatization. Instead, the money is on a one-way out journey. Follow the money, follow the dream. So that's the end of the article. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Ukraine has been receiving a lot of uh, foreign money from the U.S. The, and, and other countries. And uh, it's not free money. Uh, th the money has been given to them as a loan. So now they're calling back calling back those loans by putting their people, when I say their people, I'm talking about the U.S., talking about uh, the EU, they're putting in their people to pretty much take over uh, the assets of, of Ukraine. And it's basically a takeover of the whole country. And, and it's not in the interest of the Ukrainian people. Keep you posted if anything new comes out. Remember to subscribe, like, hit the notification button if you like what we're doing. And I'll see you in the next episode.